Well, that's it, my friends. The end has begun. We're talking about the latest Instagram updates, and they're not great. I tell you that for sure. Well, hello there, my friends, and welcome back. My name is Dominic. Uh, they kind of took me and cut off my hair today, by the way. But anyway, today we're talking about some uh, very, very concerning Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp updates. And actually thinking about it, when has there been an Instagram update where people were saying, oh man, that's a great update. It's it's just cool. I love what they do. Actually, never, to be completely honest. But let me get into that. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Dominic. Usually we talk about social media marketing or building up a personal brand, stuff like that. Uh, so, you know, just hit that subscribe button, motherfucker. And that's actually the first thing that I'm trying to get across here. For some reason, they make things worse all the time. And don't get me wrong, my friends. I'm all up for innovation. I'm all up for, you know, changing things every once in a while. You know, for example, some vlogging things that you guys don't watch, by the way. But anyway, um, but in this case of Instagram, they just change things for the worse, in my opinion. They just, they go away from the vision that Instagram originally had, and they just make things worse. So generally speaking, I'm all with them. But whoever steers this ship called Instagram right now is a fuck. So what they want to do is, they want to implement Instagram, WhatsApp, and Facebook Messenger into each other making it you know connected in some sort of way so people can talk to each other all across the platforms and you know that's great they also say they implement end-to-end -end encryption on all devices making it super safe super secure right I mean it's not like there's been massive data and security breaches on Instagram before it's not like there's been Lately, September 2018, there's been 50 million people involved in this, you know, security breach. People got hacked. Before that, this whole Cambridge Analytica. So, I don't know if I would trust those guys in that case. But okay, end-to-end -end encryption, great. Buzzwords that are going well on social media. Buzzwords that are doing pretty well with the people that don't watch my videos, for example. But let me tell you. They're just lying to you. By the way, when Facebook first bought WhatsApp, they said, yeah, we're gonna, we're not gonna touch it. We're just gonna have it. We're not gonna do anything that you don't want. We're not gonna take numbers, for example, and use those numbers for Facebook. Guess what they did? And they promised it to the original owners, but they, they just did it anyway, because Zuckerberg just, he's a fuck. -hole. Yeah, so that's what they did. So I don't know, the same thing with Instagram. You guess why the original founders of Instagram quit? Well, it's just because Facebook is a fucking shady company. So I wouldn't trust them in any way. But for some reason, people trust them all the time, even though there's lots of, lots of outrage, lots of weird shit going on lately. There's probably two or three massive security and data breaches per year in the last couple of years. So. I don't know if I would trust them. If I was you, your call. And aside from the fact that I don't care at all about messaging people from Instagram to Facebook or to WhatsApp, you know, these apps are there for a reason. Plus, I don't want random people that follow me on Instagram find out my WhatsApp information, possibly my number. I mean, come on. Did you think, huh, McFly? Did you, did you think a little bit, Zuckerberg? It makes no kind of sense. Oh yeah, it probably makes a lot of sense to them because they just get, can get this information and sell it to other people or get hacked mysteriously. Oh yeah, it's not like they can't afford a big security team, cybersecurity team. Well, so just to tell you my friends, these news are not great in terms of Instagram especially because they show how they go about things, you know? They don't care about the vision of Instagram. They don't care about Instagram mostly being a photo sharing app. No, no, no. They, they care about themselves mainly. They care about the data they, that they get. They don't care about the users. And that's what usually makes these cool new apps really cool, you know? Apps caring about the user base, apps caring about innovation not about themselves. And aside from that, what if, let's say, you're not on WhatsApp, you're not on Instagram, and you're not on Facebook? Does that make you concerned? Probably not, but it should be. Because the way they gather these things, they have three points, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook. And let's say you have three coworkers, and Facebook can access their phone books. All of a sudden, Facebook knows, all right, these three guys have something to do with this number who's called, I don't know, Florian, for example, you know? So Facebook all of a sudden knows, all right, Florian, that's Florian's number, plus Florian has three girls that talk to him, for example, all the, all the time. So Facebook knows who knows you, and actually that goes a lot too far. 
in my in my humble opinion, my friends. Anyway, my friends, these were the news. Not great news, to be completely honest. We're probably gonna have to find another cool photo sharing app for the future. If you have any, for example, Vero, <laughs> you know, just tell me. My name's Dominic. We're talking about social media marketing. We're talking about personal branding and stuff like that. And if you like stuff like that, just give me a like down below. Hit that subscribe button, that beautiful red looking subscribe button. And talk to you in a couple of days. Bye-bye, my friends. I love you.